What is going on? It is Nate the Game Guy coming back with another video at hand. And today I want to talk to you guys about some of my favorite game rooms that I've seen on YouTube. These are the game rooms that I've seen on other people's channels and I just can't help but think to myself, wow, these are just plain stupidly awesome. Now, of course, with me showing off some of these game rooms in this video, I'm not going to rank them in any way, shape, or form. I'm not going to rank them from best to worst, or worst to best, or bigger to smaller. These are just game rooms that I just like, that I just want to throw into this video. Of course, I'm not going to be throwing every single game room that I like into this video, because this video will just be way too long. Plus, of course, there are tons of other game rooms out there that I just haven't seen yet. So if there's a certain game room that I just have not talked about, there's also a very good chance I just haven't seen it yet. So if you have any game rooms that you think I should check out, feel free to comment in the comment section down below. I would love to hear and see some other game rooms that are just plain stupidly awesome to see. Now, without further ado, let's jump right into this video's topic. Take a look at some really awesome game rooms right after the intro. So starting things off strong in this video when it comes to some of my favorite game rooms that I've seen over the years here on YouTube, and that is the game room of Metal Jesus Rocks. I'm sure nobody watching this video or anybody that has been a part of the game collecting community for a long time here on YouTube is not really surprised that I'm name dropping Metal Jesus as some of my favorite game rooms in this video. Now, of course, Metal Jesus is an OG when it comes to his game collecting videos that he has been posting over the years on YouTube. So I'm sure it is no surprise that this man has a really awesome game room with a game room that is set up in his basement where he's got an awesome display of all kinds of different games. And I got to say the way how he's got things laid out really makes me want to stay there for a while. This man really knew what he was doing and trying to make things really set up to where it has a nice display. Everything's organized. Everything is just set up just so well in his basement. Now, of course, he does have other sections in his basement where he's got one room dedicated to PC gaming and one that's like a storage area. But of course, my favorite section of his overall basement is the main place where he's got his retro games and his modern games just set up, ready to go rip roaring and have have yourself a good time. Now, of course, I have to talk about this game room in this video, and that is CJR's Game Room. Now, with CJR, I really have to say, I really like what this man has done with his personal game room, especially with the three setups that he's got in his personal game room in his basement where he's got the one section that's dedicated to old school gaming such as Atari 2600 and all that cool stuff. Of course, he's got the Nintendo Nook that both him and his fans have nicknamed where he's got like multiple generations of Nintendo consoles from the NES to the GameCube. Of course, with a little bit of some non-Nintendo consoles mixed in there such as the Sega CDX. I have to say, I think that is a really cool set out that he's got right there. And of course, finally, he's got his section that is dedicated to modern day gaming. Now, what I really like about this man's game room is not only the layouts, but also just the arrangement of how everything this man has in his basement. Of course, the large game collection does help. He has a really nice layout and he's really got the display set up in his game room where I'm not going to lie, I would love to stay there for quite a while. And of course, I do have to give credit where credit is due. And I will say that this man has played a huge inspiration for me when it comes to my game collecting and game room. Now, he has a basement. I don't have a basement. So with me, I have to be a little bit more selective as to what I decide to put into the game room, how I display it, how I arrange it, and all that stuff. But this man, he has clearly way more square footage 
than me. But as mentioned from before, I do have to give credit where credit is due. And I do have to say that this man and his game room have played a huge inspiration to my personal game collection and of course this channel. Now, of course, the next game room that I have to talk about in this video is Pete Doors Game Room. Now, Pete Doors Game Room, I think, is just plain awesome. Not only is it a game room where you've got the multiple consoles, of course, the displays from different stores over the years, the really cool displays of the different games that he's got, but it's also kind of like walking into a miniature museum. Now, of course, a lot of game collectors do already is put a lot of glass display cases into their game rooms where they've got different figurines and plushes and collectibles, memorabilia, all that wonderful stuff stuff but what i really like about what pete door has personally done with his game room is that it feels like not only are you looking at a game room but you're also looking at a miniature museum mixed in with a game room and i think that is just plain awesome especially with seeing the very cool collectibles that he's got from like the old school plushies of like klonoa and like the nintendo characters and sonic and all that wonderful stuff but of course he's got like the different collectibles and memorabilia especially with his Sonic collection. Since after all, Sonic is my personal favorite game character of all time. I do think that is really cool to see. Now, of course, I will be giving credit where credit is due once again. And I will say that Pete Dore, along with his channel, and his game room were the first game rooms and, and the first game collector that I discovered on YouTube a very long time ago. And what I have to say what's really cool about Pete is with his channel and his game room and all his videos, they inspired me to not just be some guy that enjoys video games, plays them, puts them back on a shelf and plays on different consoles, but to actually collect the games get the display signs and display items that used to be in the stores and also get some really cool collectibles and memorabilia and have a really cool game room with a really nice layout with a really nice display in different sections. I have to say that this man right here truly inspired me to be the game collector that I am today. So of course, I do have to talk about Pete and his game room. Next up is Gamer Aimer. Gamer Aimer has a really impressive game room. What I really have to say about her game room is not only is her collection impressive by the sheer amount of video games in size in her collection, but also how she's got everything laid out and just got everything just placed in there so well. What I really like about her collection is it kind of makes me feel like it's a little bit of a blend of CJR's collection mixed in with a little bit of Pete Doerr's collection with the way how it's got like the multiple stations for you to play the different games and of course how she's got everything displayed so well where it's like a museum mixed in with the game room. I have to say I'm always really impressed seeing her game room with how she's got everything set out. I gotta say really impressive i always enjoy seeing it and i mean and i gotta say she's got everything just placed out displayed and got everything in there just so well Alrighty, and that will be some of my favorite game rooms here on youtube what do you guys think what are some of your favorite game rooms that you've seen on youtube over the years feel free to comment in the comment section down below i would love to hear what you guys have to say and share of course please do consider giving this video a like helps boost it up into the YouTube algorithm so more viewers such as you can find videos just like this. Of course, please do consider subscribing because I post a ton of content when it comes to game collecting, game collecting tips, and other video game related subjects. So if that is something that interests you guys, please do feel free to subscribe. But if you're going to subscribe, don't forget to hit that bell notification button so that way you will be notified when I upload a video just like this. I hope you guys did enjoy the video and I'll be seeing you guys next time.